roads on it. So what we're going to have to do is stare at this and look at our bearings. And we should know exactly where we are going to be at any one time, right? And in order to assist, I've got these as well. <laughs> <laughs> so I want you to take a car each. <laughs> Because right now, where are we? We're in Thandavery, which is down sort of here somewhere. And we're going to... Where are we going with the first stop? Right, Strathclyde, so, isn't it? Strathclyde, Motherwell. Motherwell. Is here, roughly. Yeah? Yeah. I'm guessing. Right, okay. So that's the first stop today. That's about, what, eight inches? Yeah, it's not far, is it? 20 minutes? 20 minutes. It's fine. <laughs> it's that. All right, cool. So, Folks, it's midday. Gentlemen, start your engines. <laughs> right, see you in Scotland. Right, let's get this show on the road. extremely useful and accurate map which we haven't had to use today in fairness yet um, but I thought maybe we could use it for another purpose just to sort of um, catalogue our journey so far so we started out today down here in front of Rizzo. I'll put these around there and then we kind of went in that direction first. I don't, well, I, I can't really draw the roads, but we got as far as where do we go? Welsh Pool. Welsh Pool. Welsh, Welsh Pool, Pool, which was about <coughs> up there, there yeah. somewhere. Ah. We stopped there for lunch, and then we went in that direction somewhere yeah. for a bit, and then there's some kind of motorway going in that direction then. Um, <laughs> Manchester was a sort, I don't know, I'm terrible, but Manchester's about there. We passed there, there was some um, traffic issues over oh. here. To say the least. Congestion. <laughs> Massive congestion. Oh, I forgot to mention I saw some sheep over here. So <laughs> sheep. And, sheep. They, and they were clever sheep. Yeah, yeah they, they were hiding. They were, they, were shade, they were taking shade from the tree. <laughs> <laughs> In, under yeah. the tree from the sun. So there were sheep were there. Um, intelligent sheep. We stopped. Where did we stop? Was it north of Manchester? I can't remember where we stopped. Yeah, just north of so Manchester. We had, a, we had a break for a year for about sort of 40 minutes. Coffee. Coffee break. 
<clears throat> to lose and then we kept on going and we got to just, uh, just somewhere south the border, or then, just south yeah, of the border yeah, somewhere there, about, there. roughly yeah. about beer this is obviously extremely accurate um just um north of carlisle isn't it? carlisle north of carlisle yeah yes i'll put carlisle question mark i can't spell carlisle but uh question mark <laughs> and then uh, got someone there. decided to fill up with uh Oh yeah, super duper, 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 up and then round that way, I think it, yeah. it goes in that direction. And we stop in here for the night in Strathclyde, then. So, Strathclyde, Strathclyde. just about a couple of miles short of Glasgow. Yeah, TH Clyde, um, where there's no no hot, no restaurants open after nine, nine o'clock. Uh, no, yeah, no, no one no. eats after nine in Strathclyde, <laughs> only the teenagers. After yeah, in McDonald's. In McDonald's. <laughs> Nine o'clock. Okay, and tomorrow we're going in this direction, which apparently there's some hills and things up there, so we're going to go and take a look at them. Oh, uh, we're going there first. So we're going we're there, there, there really. first then. And then we're passing up then, past yeah. Loch Ness then. And then somewhere about but there, Horace will need fuel again. And then, that far? <laughs> and then, oh yeah, we've got to get fuel again here, because I'm now down to my last sort of 90 miles of fuel. Um, yeah, so we haven't bothered with this part of the country yet. I don't know what we'll do on the way home, but we're going to head in in that direction. Um, and yeah, we'll see. I might start, like, rather than writing on here, I might start writing out here or something. Do, do, but do you want to add anything to it? Can you think of anything to, no. we've missed that we need to add I on think, there? Uh, it was very comprehensive. Yeah. I know. So I think it's quite an accurate map and, you know, seems we haven't got any roads. Yeah. Can yet. I ask a question? Go about, on. Uh, wait. Why did we go dotted here? Was that does that signify anything? Yeah, traffic. Traffic. Because ah, <laughs> we were literally it was start stop start stop. So that was all smooth. <laughs> yeah. And then that was start. Yeah, this, this bit this bit was pretty. I like good that. I like that. Yeah. I like that. I like pictorial yeah. things. Yeah. Like yeah. That's yeah. Good. Good. I, I think I might frame this when we're done actually. <laughs> Well, if anyone else wants to do the trip, then yeah, yeah they we can know, just follow the map. Know. I know. So we've got this fuel bill sheet here that we've decided <laughs> to do to show how much fuel we're going to uh, spend on this trip, just so we get an idea. And I think, like you're just saying, now you you boys are probably going to stop at two or three, yeah, three. whereas I'm going to continue with what I'm already on to, <laughs> and it's going to go south. So do, do you remember what your fuel bills are then? For the, yeah, I think so. Alid, first mine of all, then was at the start of everything. It was where's that photo? I'll tell you now. Um, so for day one, this is what you filled up. This is day one when I filled up, and here's that. Before starting, though. Should be, should, should be basically you're looking for bag in, really. Is that mine? Yeah. Is that mine or yours? That's yours. That is yours. Oh, mine. Hang on. I'm the wrong place. You need, so, to, you need to be based on the fill up, really. Yeah. That's the only way of truly getting it. Go on. Go on. Was uh, 36.86 litres filled in. So, 36.8 litres. And how much did that cost? That was uh, 72 pounds at an exp at 195.9. 95.9. Okay. Right. I put in £63.15. £63.15. £32.91 litres. There we go. Yeah, £1.91 per litre. Right, I'm going to have to pause this a second because mine's on this phone. So that's Ali's, that's Jason's. Mine then was £44.64. And that was for 
23.51 litres of fuel, which is ridiculous. Uh, one pound eighty nine a litre for yeah, petrol. Petrol. Yeah. petrol is cheaper, but that that was number one. And I got across the border to Scotland because my car was nearly out of fuel. I spent a further twenty pound for another get this nine litres of fuel because I went to the wrong pump and the cost of fuel was £2.22 a litre for super unleaded in BP. <laughs> so I made a mistake there. <laughs> yeah, oh God, yeah. So and, uh, I've, you just still have a half a tank left. Yeah, so I've yeah. spent... You just waited idling our engines. <laughs> but having said that, so far on this trip, you've spent £63, you've spent £72, and I've still spent... 16. <coughs> but that's because I had half a tank of fuel before. Yeah, I filled up and so. I, and I was empty. Yeah, you were empty. Uh, were you empty? I was empty, yeah. Oh, yeah, I wasn't so. I, that doesn't really count, but no. I've still spent less than you currently. But I got a feel. I was going to say, I got I a feeling that by the end of this trip, this list will be quite long <laughs> and those lists will be quite short. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's that bit then. Right then, the time has come to be honest about how much this trip is costing us. So, um, each car, we'll start with Jason then. How much has your car cost you to get here today? Right, so we've got a car purchase price of 3,200. Right. And then the mods, there aren't too many. Uh, second, second hand split alloys, split room alloys, 100 quid. Nice. 180 to refurb. Okay. 320 for the rubber. Roof spoiler 80 quid. Secret glove box and gloss back trim inside. Eight, uh, that's 60 quid. Some bonnet stripes. Just under 20 quid. Total mods 760. So we've got a total spend of 3960. 3960, 3960 right. 960 okay. Right, so that's Jason's. Did you have any repairs to do? No, no. So your car's worked perfectly the entire time? No repairs required. <laughs> <laughs> so move on to, because that, that's Hamish, isn't it? Hamish, Hamish the Mini. Hamish. Uh, Alid with Hector. Hector, now the, the Blue Mini. Purchase £500. So, so uh, that was the original agreement, so yeah, <laughs> point deducted so. for cheating and buying an yeah. <laughs> expensive, tidy car. 500 quid, unfortunately, it got uh, ram raided by a tractor. Oh, yeah. So I purchased it in, I was the first to buy. Mm. I was the first to buy, and then last to collect. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. It ended up stranded in yeah, North stranded Wales. stranded in North Wales. So, in total, purchased 500. So then, to repair it, put it back so it, it's roadworthy, it cost me 548 pounds. That's including all the servicing. But I went over and above. I went for performance sus suspension upgrades and everything else with wing back seats, so Ricardo wing back seats and everything, and um, my performance and uh, modification upgrades came to 1,678. <laughs> so in total, the car has cost me, in the grand scheme of things, with poly bushing, remap, and everything else, 2,000. Seven hundred and twenty-seven pounds. Not too bad. That's so, not bad. That's all right. That's, that's not bad. All so that's, it is. And that's a five hundred pound car that was destined for the scrapyard. No. Yes. Back so on. I've saved it from uh, the uh, scrapyard from heaven. Yeah. Yes. If you're watching from an insurance company now, please close your ears. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please. All right. Now it's my turn. Got it. Because. Well, the nickname my car, Horace the Horrible, because it um, it, it, it's, it's a petrol mini, in purchased it on in November 2021 from uh, Penzance, um, 550 quid, and in fairness, the old thing off the chat was all bit, we told me they had issues, and you know, that was fair enough, so I bought it, uh, no way, but we had some repairs to do to it, so, start it out, and this is just the repair list. Oil, oil filter, air filter, spark plugs, pollen filter, oxygen oh, centers, no. thermostat and housing because the thermostat exploded. Um, <laughs> At mine, <laughs> with me. If it, uh, the front subframe was knackered so that had to come off 
get completely powder coated, resprayed. Um, the oil temperature switch was knackered and it was leaking oil like sieve. Yeah, um, the van was all noise broken. Uh, the cam chain was knackered. That was changed. Um, the jacking point in the back needed doing. Um, I bought some poly brush kits to replace some of the rubbers that were worn because the suspension sounded like it was a, a like it was a, a bag full of mice basically. <laughs> Um, so yeah, front and anti roll bar poly brush, front wish bones, rear shock poly brush, and rear anti roll bars are all being poly brushed. Um, I see horn knackered, uh, the, bonnet, the, the bonnet catch was knackered, the boot catch was knackered, the uh, headlights were knackered, um, uh, tailgate. Window door regulator was knackered. The driver's side was being held by several tape. <laughs> Don't forget, it's smashed. Oh, it yeah, was smashed fractured, well. so, so had a new, new window. Um, the rocker cover has been changed, new gasket. Uh, I put different alloys on it. And I didn't pay for the alloys, I just swapped a different set of alloys, but they've been, they've been refurbished. Um, and I think that's about it, isn't it? Is this, is it actually the same car? Uh, it's a Some would say it isn't. It's like Trigger's brush, isn't it? Trigger's <laughs> boom, yeah. So, um, in any, in any field game or tea, and that to have like, loads of work done for that as well. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so all in, total cost, if I mounted it all up, and I haven't done any modifications to mine apart from I put stripes on it and I changed And you poly bushed? Uh, oh, I've poly bushed it, sort of a mod, and I changed the puddle lights to set for the mini local ones. Um, total cost is two thousand six hundred and seventy. Oh, he's winning! He's winning that something. Is just for the repairs. My car goes. That didn't use the word. No. And it literally I'm... has taken us from November until two weeks ago to get all that finished and get the car on the road because it's mostly been up on bricks in Alice House for yeah. the majority of the time. And I think me and Jace are quite surprised it's got you. Yes. Yeah. Well, it's <laughs> exceeded you. our expectations. <laughs> it did get you, so yeah. Stay in hindsight, should have bought these little mini, but I wanted to go for the petrol because I think with the way things are going with electric, I probably won't own another petrol car again. So I just wanted to have a last kind of a hurrah and see see what it was like.